Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 15 has proven to be a very interesting manga as translated by Dragon Ball Legacy and Dragon Ball Exclusives, we come to find out that in Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 15, there is quite an interesting depiction of what the Hakaioshins, the Gods of Destructions, and the regular Kaioshins have in common. Now, as translated by Whis and further detail goes as follows, translated by DBZ Exclusives and other sources, it seems as if the Supreme Kai of Future Trunks' timeline has died because of Dabora. This must have happened between the time that Supreme Kai has given instructions to Trunks on how to defeat Deborah, and of course with that being said in the manga it states that Trunks said the truth is Lord Kaioshin Supreme Kai has died with Beerus responding by saying what no how can this happen with Goku responding by saying so you like the Kaioshin Lord Beerus and that's really unexpected from you we said ho ho that's not the case the Kaioshins and the Hakaioshins the gods of destructions are a set if a Kaioshin dies then the Hakaioshin the gods of destruction dies as well and the reason for that is because they have somewhat of an intertwining relationship and that's when Goku freaks out, Vegeta freaks out, and that's when Whis tells Trunks, I'm afraid that future Trunks' Hakaioshin, which is the God of Destruction, doesn't exist anymore. And it seems like the Supreme Kai has died because of Deborah's actions. And we flash back into the manga while Majin Buu was attacking the Kaioshins millions of years ago as we saw in the anime, Whis says to Beerus, oh dear, this is not good for Lord Beerus-sama, I will do what needs to be done to awaken him, but of course he will be angry after all, the Kaioshin, the old Kai, and Beerus Sama had sealed is alive. So in a nutshell, the Kaioshins and the Hakaioshins have an intertwining relationship. One cannot exist without the other. Keep in mind that one is supposed to be labeled as the gods of the creation, while the others are supposed to be the gods of destruction. So of course, without destruction, you can't have creation, and without creation, you can't have destruction. So this particular manga chapter suggests, according to Dragon Ball exclusives and other sources, that in fact, that in Future Trunks' timeline, the Hakaioshin, the gods of destruction, does not exist anymore because the Supreme Kai, the Kaioshin of that timeline, has perished. Now, that could be due to the fact that Deborah must have killed off the Kaioshin before arriving to Future Trunks' world, or something else must have happened in between. Akira Toyama has a very interesting sense of telling the story. Again, the whole space-time continuum, warping dimensions, and uh, the whole fabrics of time in this particular arc is very confusing, so I know that certain people are going to be thrown off guard with what's being said and or done, that this particular arc is contradicting in its own little way because the time placements are all distorted and everything seems to be somewhat confusing. But if anybody out there was wondering about the Hakaioshins, the gods of destructions within Future Trunks' timeline, they may have in fact been killed off, therefore thus not having a god of destruction within that particular timeline. So in case you guys are wondering if there's any sort of god that seems to be alive within Future Trunks' timeline, that doesn't seem to be the case according to the translations because Deborah must have been the one to defeat the Supreme Kai before arriving on planet Earth. Keep in mind once again that the manga chapter has has not yet been released. There are certain leaks and images that are floating online. The full chapter has yet to be released. When that does happen, I will make sure to review it for you guys. Um, but again, according to many translations here, it appears to be that if this ends up to be true, that the God of Destruction does not exist within Future Trunks' timeline, which indicates that Beerus, if that's the God of Destruction within that timeline, does not exist in Future Trunks' time because, of course, the Supreme Kai has been killed off. Now, I want to get your thoughts on this. I want to get your thoughts on the intertwining relationship between the Hakaioshins and the Kaioshins, alongside the fact that this particular translation indicates that, in fact, there is no God Destruction within that timeline. Of course, Beer is freaking out. Um, this is a very, very confusing arc in a very small way when it comes to time, space, and it comes to, you know, circling dimensions and going to universe to universe and timelines and stuff. In fact, this is a very, very interesting arc, I would have to say as well, because of the fact that we're jumping through timelines, we're going back and forth in time using time rings and recapping stories of Hakaioshins and uh, the intertwining relationships between the Kaioshins and stuff like that. So this is most definitely, I believe, a very intriguing arc just because of that itself. And in case you guys are wondering on the whole situation between Black arriving sometime during the Deborah and Bobbity arrival, it's not hard to believe and understand that Black came years after Deborah and Bobbity have invaded Earth. Uh, but we also have to take into account and ask ourselves, well, if that's the case, if Deborah was the one to defeat the Supreme Kai or the Kaioshin that was teaching trunks the guidelines of how to prevent Majin Buu from being hatched and you have to also ask yourself at what period in time did the Bora or whoever presumably killed off this Kaioshin come into fruition and defeat him uh, upon you know trunks having to defeat Deborah and Bobbity so it's actually quite confusing um, some people are gonna label this as being dumb uh, you know if, if a Kaioshin dies off then the hot Kaioshin dies off as well some people may not be sold on that idea but I want to get your thoughts on this guys and I 
also hope you guys tune in for the manga chapter i cannot wait to read it myself and see the translations that come out of it because again the manga the manga has uh, a lot more detail i believe than the anime itself and we get to learn more from the manga even though the manga is slightly behind the manga seems to be catching up in a way uh, but the manga will provide us with detail as to what is going on that furtherance uh, the story arc between black goku and our friends so thank you guys for watching once again i truly hope you guys enjoyed tune in for more if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you slap a like on it thank you all for watching have a blessed day and i'll be seeing you all later take it easy guys peace